surprisingly enough, right behind abandoned cart, the next highest open rates and even most profitable email automation that you can start sending with your email marketing campaigns is order confirmation and shipping confirmation. It's kind of crazy to think that considering a lot of times in order confirmations and shipping confirmations, there's no offer, there's no sale, there's not really a call to action. You're just confirming someone's order. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to set this up and why this tends to generate some of the most money for your email marketing campaigns. Welcome back guys, my name is Hannah Gardner. If you're new to the channel, I teach people how to build brands mainly on Shopify and Etsy, but a lot of other entrepreneurial stuff as well. If you're new to the channel, you may not know this, but I love talking about email marketing and SMS marketing for a Shopify store specifically. And it's probably some of the most fun forms of marketing that you can do because you're just sending out broadcasts and automations, emails, maybe text messages to your current list of customers. So it's probably some of the easiest money that you can make once you start building your list. And it's super, super important that you are sending out SMS and email campaigns to your list on a weekly basis. I always recommend at a minimum two emails and two text messages per week. So one thing I just wanna clarify before I get too ahead of myself of what exactly the difference is between a broadcast and an automation. So I've used those words a couple of times now. So just to clarify, if you don't know what they are, there's two types of vehicles or two types of basically types of campaigns that you can send out to your list via SMS or email. And one of them is called broadcast and the other one is called an automation. So what is the difference? A broadcast is a one-time message. It usually requires some manual labor. And this is what I'm recommending that you send out at least two times per week. So two emails and two text messages per week to your current list. Sending out these broadcasts is, makes up a significant amount of your yearly sales obviously the automations do as well a broadcast is like sending something out like a a new product launch email it could be a back in stock email it could be a black friday sale email right so those are considered broadcasts you have to set them up manually and you schedule them or you send them out right after you make them whereas an automation, an automation campaign is something that gets sent out automatically. So that's what I'm referring to when I say an order confirmation or a shipping confirmation. Those are automation campaigns that get sent out when the customer performs an action. So let's just hop into my computer screen real fast and let me just show you some of these crazy results. This is the inside of my Omnisend dashboard. And here are some of the automations that I currently have firing. I have my abandoned cart, my order confirmation, customer reactivation campaign, shipping email, confirmation email, and my email follow-up, 15 and then 20% offer. So this is from my form. Sometimes you see forms on people's websites and you know it's sign up for our email list or our SMS list and you get XYZ amount off. When they sign up for that list, that's what that email follow-up is. They're getting that thing that they signed up for. So that's always pretty profitable, but as you can see here, the abandoned cart just absolutely crushes all of them as it should. But surprisingly enough, the next most profitable email campaigns are the order confirmation, which is super surprising, like I mentioned before, considering there's not usually an offer. I thought this was super interesting, and then I saw that Omnisend, which by the way, Omnisend is who I use for my email marketing. They are a great email hosting software. I know there's a lot of competition out there, but Omnisend does every single thing that I needed to do, and it's the most affordable. I thought it was really interesting that I saw these results, but then I even saw that Omnisend put out this article basically validating what, what I just discovered with my own store. If you don't know, an order confirmation is the email that people get confirming their order. So you just purchase something and essentially you usually get a confirmation from the company giving you kind of like an invoice of what you just paid for. It usually looks something like this that has order confirmation thank you note or message, the date of the order, the product details, the total price that you paid, the shipping address, shipping method, the billing address, and also a view order 
order button. OmniSend pre-builds these templates for you. So if you go into your automations and you wanna set up an automation, like you literally just change some colors around and the automation's already gonna start firing for you. One of the theories of why this converts so well is because it's not a pushy email, it's not a broadcast trying to pitch you something, it's not promoting a new product or a sale or anything like that per se, it's just simply guaranteeing what you already purchase. So it's building that loyalty and that trust between you and the customer when you send that email campaign. By the way, because the confirmation also comes in right after they purchase, they already have their wallet open to you. So they're more likely to buy right then again than say a week later from now. So you're getting that immediate confirmation from the, the company that you're spending money with. You still already have your wallet out. And because they sent you that confirmation and they sent it so fast with all the details, the correct details of that purchase, they're, they feel more comfortable to then go ahead and purchase again. Now let's talk about some of the best practices for setting out order confirmations. So some good subject line ideas are right here. So things like, thank you for your order your brand name order confirmation with the confirmation number, order received dash your brand name with the order confirmation number, great news, we've got your order with the order number, your brand name order has been received with the confirmation number. Best time to send these campaigns is immediately after purchase. Any delays in this order confirmation kind of raises suspicion, especially if it's a new customer that has never purchased from you before. So you wanna make sure that they're getting it right away and if they don't get an order confirmation tends to happen is you'll start getting an influx of customer service complaints pretty much them looking to confirm their order and that's just kind of a bad customer experience so you want to make sure that it's being sent right away surprisingly enough like we mentioned before because of the nature of that security that i just spent money with you and now i want to make sure that it's confirmed that is why we have such a high open rate here you're seeing over 55 percent open rates on both of these emails so order confirmation and a shipping confirmation so once the order is fulfilled omnisend is also sending a shipping confirmation as well another tip that could really help you increase that conversion rate or click-through rate is after the confirmation email at the bottom, you can have a list of other products you may like. So you may also like, it looks something like this at the bottom. So they already got confirmation, they feel that rapport with you. And obviously the hottest traffic is the people that have already spent money with you. And with OmniSend, it's super easy. So basically you would just drag a product listing here and we could go ahead and we could add it below here. This is all integrated with the website. So essentially all I would have to do is come over here, hit this, click on the product that I want to put inside here. And obviously we selected it and it put it right in here for us. If I wanted to add a title here, saying something like, you may also like, and we can set the settings. We can go ahead and make the text smaller, like this. We can make the bottom padding a little bit less here. We have the order confirmation, we have the order summary, the billing and the shipping, and then we also have that view order button, and we also have suggestions for more things that they can go ahead and buy. The goal with any e-commerce business is to build real brand loyalty and to get your customers coming back time and time again. So all of these little moments of truth, whether it's setting up the shipping confirmation, just setting up an order confirmation, are actually super essential. And I really, really encourage you not to overlook all these little things. Guys, if you wanna check out OmniSend, OmniSend, is, there'll be a link in my description. I've been using them since I started three years ago and the platform has just grown so much as e-commerce has grown so much and just because you stay till the end of this video I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys a free slide deck that shows all of my email automations that I have set up so you can go ahead and make sure that you're implementing those email automations inside of your own Shopify store because you definitely should have all the email automations that OmniSend offers which again they make it super easy because everything is made with templates it's just tweaking the dials or maybe adding some more emails to it how however you want to do it. So guys, I hope you got some value out of this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.